Well, hello, good people. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, corporate holiday parties are in full effect, and it's time for you as a balloon decorator to capitalize on this season. Sleigh bells are ringing. Are you uh, listening? I love corporate holiday parties. They, one, have higher budgets, two, they tend not to micromanage, and three, they tend to let us be fun and creative, allowing us the opportunity to add more unique balloon decor to our portfolio. Hey, are any of you tired of doing spiral arches and columns? I'm gonna give you a strategy to help you revamp your gallery. Guys, let's get into what I'm gonna do to secure more corporate clients this holiday season. I went on Fiverr and I said, hey, I need someone to pull contact information for people within the events industry, within my company's delivery radius, which is 30 miles. And I need people with titles similar to event managers, event coordinators, event directors. And I had a freelancer target people that work for big companies. The reason is that they have higher budgets for their parties. What I'm gonna do is reach out to them and say, hey, I'm Brittany from Lexi Balloons, and we are your local balloon decorator, and this is why you need Lexi Balloons at your corporate holiday party. Even if I don't secure them for this year, maybe they'll consider doing business for 2023. A lot of companies are finalizing their budgets right now for the following year. Potentially, they'll include our services in their budget, and we could do business in 2023 for all of their events, including their corporate holiday parties. People, balloon decorators, mis familia, take this strategy and run with it. Find someone to pull contact information for employees in the events industry that work at big companies. Take that information, reach out to them, and introduce your business. Now let's get into understanding the corporate client. Let's talk about the needs of the corporate clients to increase your chance of closing the deal. I want you to understand how to sell them. I know your heart just raced like mine did. I personally don't consider myself a salesperson. The idea of selling my business when I first started was like so intimidating and I was like, that's not even within my personality. I like to ask people how they're feeling. Like, I'm too soft. I don't want to be aggressive like that. And I took this class and the instructor was like, hey, whether you feel like you are a salesperson or not as an entrepreneur, you have to be. No one can sell your business better than you can. Therefore, you have to be your business's biggest advocate. So now, guys, I grant you salesperson of the year for your balloon business. Take that confidence and tell people about your business. You're passionate about it, you see the value in it, so why wouldn't you let other people know? Let's address the corporate client's needs. They need to impress their boss, they have to make sure they can rely on you to provide top quality service and balloon decorations. These people have 30 other things that they have to work on for this party. They're not focused on just doing business with you. They have to get a caterer, a DJ, a photographer, and more. They have to have several meetings with their team to get vendors approved, and everybody's opinions are being thrown at them. They're all over the place and typically stressed out. Understanding the client will help you address their needs, secure them, and provide satisfactory customer service. Express how you would be happy to deliver a statement piece that will wow their guests and how your goal is to make them look good. Make suggestions for the space. The client needs you to take the task of decorating off their hands. Don't go asking them a ton of questions. It's overwhelming. Make suggestions for balloon decor based upon your experience. Take control. Let them know that they can rely on you. After closing the sale, reply back with, thank you for your payment, payment received. If you need anything in the meantime, feel free to let me know. We have everything covered on our end and they can count on you and trust you to deliver as promised. Now we're going to talk about balloon decorations that you can include in your proposal that will set you apart from your competition. There's these ornament balloon kits that you can get from your supplier. They're regular orbs that come with paper toppers to look like it's an ornament. They typically come in shades of pink, gold, blue, and silver. You can hang the orbs from the ceiling with a fishing line string. 
which provides an illusion of floating orbs. Ornament balloons are unique and will definitely make your proposal stand out from your competition. Second idea is to include in your proposal nutcracker mosaics. They are a great idea for the entrance and holiday parties, making for a unique piece to greet people. And clients love having the nutcracker mosaics at their corporate holiday parties. So when they see it on their proposal, they're always like, oh my gosh, these are so cool. We need them. These two decor suggestions will definitely set you apart from competition. If the client suggests boring decor like spiral arches and columns, let them know, hey, I am happy to provide pricing information, but how about something like this? This will really make for a memorable event, make for fun photo op opportunities. Everybody nowadays is all about posting on social media and having cool backdrops to be able to do so. So sell that to them. Introduce different ideas that will help you build your portfolio and show your expertise as well. Now let's get into the paperwork that the corporate client will require from you. Guys, majority of the time, corporate clients are going to request your COI, Certificate of Insurance. I happen to have my insurance with State Farm that you can shop around and see who gives you the best quotes. If you need more information on a COI, please feel free to go back to one of my previous videos on things you need to know before starting a balloon business. I believe I posted it, I know it was earlier this year. I have a couple of the things you need to know videos out, but I believe it was like my first or second one. But imagine if you send your COI with the proposal prior to the client requesting it from you. They're gonna know, oh, they know how to do business with corporate clients. They already have experience because they sent me their insurance information. It'll help you build trust and it's gonna help you secure their event. Guys, you have to strategize. You have to game plan for this holiday season. It's time to go. Take the information that I provided and run with it. It's game time. All in all, the corporate client is one of my favorite clients to work with. I love that they let us have creative freedom and I love that they have higher budgets, of course. But guys, tell me down below if you learned anything new from this video. Share information how you are going to capitalize on this holiday season. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, good people.